I can't fuck with snakes. I ain't all the way back from my people. I pray I was I ain't. for fame. I'm finna turn up and get they ass a taste. I thought taste. I was global. They screaming my name. I'm everywhere like I'm the Chicago way. Way. So. Oh, what's his name? FYB Jamie. <laughs> Shout out to Jamie. <laughs> hit different. <laughs> <laughs> hit different for real. So I basically, you basically tell a story about a time some funny ass shit happened after you got high. I got a lot of stories. I got to tell my story. Yeah, your story. Okay, me and my friend. I was smoking weed. I don't really smoke weed, but I hit the blunt that night. Then we had went to a hotel and shit. And um, she's with a dude and shit. It was crazy. Story. I was in hot tub naked. <laughs> 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 Niggas fucking shit. But she had some weed, and she was like, "This shit not hit it. Oh, bitch, this smell like gas. So I'm gonna do something else." Okay. But I tell you, I was smoking the blunt with the dude that she was with. And when I say I was high as fuck, like I'm finna start tweaking out. So we on this first place, she's gonna take me back to my house. But we both went to work, worked overnight, we never fucking worked. We was doing some other shit. Yeah. And I was having my man though, but I'm like, I don't need to get out of this fucking car, I'm tweaking. I run upstairs to my crib and I tell my sister, I'm crying like, y'all ain't got half of so high. <laughs> They put me in a tub with all my clothes on. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm still happy. But it, I swear to God, that was probably one of the second craziest moments when I got hot. I was in a tub. I was, they were screaming like, calm down. But it was like, it made me, the, whatever we smoked, they should hear me like uh, smoky on of Friday. Like I was like shit. twitching, all type of shit. Mm -hmm. But that was like the second highest moment. The first one. And my sister was smoking Zaza. We had two different, there was two different Zaza's. I had the first been, the first trip out, we was cool. But we got the second one. She on live, I'm telling her, like, bitch, I think I'm gonna start tweaking. I'm um, high as fuck. Mm -hmm. So she in the lab, I get off her couch, and I immediately just start pulling up. I start mm -hmm. crying and everything, like, y'all take me to the hospital. I call everybody in my phone. Wow. Call everybody in my phone. I tweak the fuck out on me. Yeah. I went to sleep and everything. That was the best sleep I had. <laughs> and I woke up and smoked the same one, but I was cool. Okay. But I don't know why, like, yeah, I don't want to smoke. I ain't smoked in two years. I don't want to smoke that shit anymore. Two years, okay. It used to be fun. Like, I like being happy, but hell no, nah, not when I'm feeling weird. Like, I don't like that shit. Nigga. I like the weed they used to have motherfuckers laughing and having a bunch of this shit. This shit they got now make a motherfucker think they hard stuff. Damn. Um, um, I wouldn't touch me. Um, so, like, you never uh, touched an uh, edible? Oh, hell no. No, I wouldn't dare. I <laughs> lost my mind. No, I don't like that shit. Okay. Mm -mm. okay. Now, yeah, mm -mm. I don't play with that. Mm -mm. I don't play with that, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get into, like, something, like, that happened, like, a while back, right? So, you had, like, you had, like, um, a song that she did with Sasha Gohar, I believe. It was mm -hmm. called Players Anthem. Mm -hmm. and Players Club. <laughs> yeah. Play, Players Club? Mm -hmm. Players Club, yeah. So um, with Players Club, uh, I heard you had like a kind of like a music video idea for that. Yeah. And then you wanted to shoot the song, shoot the video to the song with her. Yeah. But the, pro but the, but the problem was she had her own music video that she was shooting and it had a similar theme to what, to what the song, you know, wanted. Basically, get so to your ideas. We did the song. So, we did the song, whatever. And this was in 2021. Okay. A cameraman texted me, was like, Ain't this your idea? Okay. And she had made a status. It was on Facebook. It was like two years ago. She was like, She was doing a play a club thing, song video. And um, she, was, she, she said, like, I ain't steal this from nobody and all that, but I felt like we have a song called Players Club. Okay. I was planning on doing a video, Players Club theme in the strip club, but the strip club never got, they got back to me, but they got back to me months later. Wow. So, but I felt like she went ahead that idea and we never did the song. I generally did the song. Yeah, so now people I work with, they have to send NDAs. Shit. NDAs. And this has not even been my personal life. 
Because okay. I just feel like people talk too much. People, it's a lot of still and did shit going on in Chicago. You want to stand in the air. That's how I personally feel. And it probably, I don't know, I just feel like that was my idea. We have a song called Place Club. And you talking about you finna do a Place Club video. Do that make sense to you? It, it makes sense. So. Like the idea, like you got the idea from somewhere. It's from, yeah, like, yeah. And in, in the beginning of the song, it's um, Lisa Ray saying, Everybody out the motherfucking Justin Room, please. Okay. So that intro is in a time we play for specifically because of that. Wow. But you know, people have to have NBA. Okay. So as far as as far as working with, you know, artists, like you had you had that experience and whatnot, like are there even though that happened, are there any like female Chicago rappers you want to work with or just artists in general? Um, I can work with anybody as long as, as long as they can keep up with me. Keep up with you. If they trash can I work with them. <laughs> if they sound like they need to work, I'm not working with them. Not working. If they I feel like you have to already to work with me, you have to already have that talent. Yeah. Like okay. I ain't I ain't no beauty bitch, beauty rapper. I'm doing it myself. I can't you know. And and you got to have a following to a certain extent. Like It have to be beneficial to me Makes working with somebody. Makes sense. And don't get me wrong, like I work with people that don't have a following, but it's like I'm not no charity case. I'm, not fast. I'm like I'm not handing out songs on uh, on other people's behalf. Like okay, because I seen some shit in the Chicago Awards that they had going on, on Instagram. Okay. It was people in there that didn't even have a song. <coughs> yeah. But they had a song with me. <laughs> and that's probably like the only song. Wow. But I seen like, how you get invited to a war with no catalog? Yeah. Not one song. Not one. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Exactly. All right, so with that, um, what was I going to say? All right, as far as like the music thing goes, like if somebody like wants to work with you, right, and they hit you up in the DM and they want to do a song with you, how does that? Like, how does that work? Send me a beat. Send you a beat. Okay. Yeah. Once I hear the beat, I ask them, like, what route you, if, if they don't have no verse on that, I ask them, like, what route they want. So I know to match what they're saying or what they're going to say. Okay. But if they already got a verse on that, I kind of go off that. You know what they send me shit? I'm just going for it. Okay. If I'm not backed up, like, I'm backed up right now. Mm. Features. 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 Okay. So, um, let me take it back to Certified Legends for a second. We know um, that Bo Deal, like, mm-hmm. was the head of that, mm-hmm. right? So, what was your relationship like? He wasn't that? the head of Certified okay. Legends. He wasn't the head. Caps was. Caps was. But Caps was sent to RTS. Oh, okay. So RTS. He had his own level within the, RTS. Makes sense. Yeah. So, like, did you, like, were, were you ever, like, around Bo Deal? Yeah. So like, what's your yeah. relationship like, or was it like? Um, he was like a businessman. Like, he's strictly about business. He not about drama. I had to get a couple phone calls from him because shit was telling me he liked drama, and he wasn't my peer almost. But yeah, yeah, he about business. About he about business. He ain't with all the drama, like all the female shit. Nigga shit, if you're like that, you're not doing that. Yeah, I think that's a bad look. It's a bad look. It may be when I want to work with you, they think you're messy. Makes sense. Could you say, like, you learned something from him? I won't say, per se, him, but just being in that circle, it's just, it was it was heavily dominated. Like, you have to be a certain way. Sure. When it's, when it's, it was probably like, well, deal with his artists. I think it's probably like five, six people. Okay. And then um, I was on the Caps. Caps had about eight, nine people. Wow. So, and just like me being the only girl, it's just like, you want to do shit your way, but you can't do shit your way. Okay. Like, because you just can't. You just can't. You just can't. Like, or you get looked at in a certain 
life. Right. Type of thing. So, you know, well, sometimes you can't do what the fuck you want to do till you get away from it. Right. That's what they can't explain to me. Gotcha.